Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is part two of the developer diary video updating the Verde the Flappy Dragon game uh, with a new name and uploading it to Google Play uh, because of some term violations, a seven day notification from Google Play. So, um, end of part one. Sorry, the, the audio got cut off there and I, and I got frozen. And I just noticed it through through Camtasia, my recording software. I think it's because I was building uh, the game onto the device as I was recording. I think that caused the issue, so I won't I won't do that again. Uh, but I've got the game up and running now anyway, and I've just been testing it. it seems to be working pretty well. Um, ads. What I usually test for is ads at the bottom, ad mob, obviously, you know, because that makes revenue. And I'm also checking that chart boost appears as well. And chart boost appears every five deaths. So here I've got five deaths and it should appear every 10 deaths. So I'm just going to die a couple of times. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Uh, let it count up to 10. And then we should see a chart boost ad. If you look on the top right, so 10, hopefully it will appear. Uh, there you go. So a chart boost ad appears and that's cool. Uh, I'm just going to click on it and it won't show anything. I'm just making sure that it actually leads. Uh, on a Kindle device, it's not got Google Play, so it doesn't actually show the Google Play link. But I'll be testing it on my on my other device anyway. Um, the other thing that I've done here as well, just a quick tip. Uh, you might have noticed that this Rate Game uh, button has now appeared after uh, 10 times. And I'll click on it, but it won't actually go to the Google Play market. But it, the Rate Game button does not appear until the player plays the game 10 times. The idea with that is that the player will, if a player stays in the game longer, then they probably like the game a little bit, and they're more likely to give a, a higher rating. So, uh, you know, players can still rate the game, of course, but I, I, I show the button after 10 plays, so that it's more likely to get higher ratings from players that like the game. Uh, if a player plays it one time and hates the game and they see you rate it, maybe they'll tap on it and say, no, no, this was a terrible one star. So that's just uh, maybe a little technique that you, you guys can use. Uh, remember, you can't incentivize ratings at the moment and probably never will be able to. Uh, incentivize is you say, hey, rate the game and we'll give you, uh, you know, some coins or something or, you know, give us five stars and you can, and you can get this in the game. Uh, the app stores don't allow that, so just make sure that you're not doing it, guys, because you, your application will get flagged. Uh, the other thing that we do as well is uh, just a quick tip here. Uh, chart boost appears at the start of the game and you can close that down. There's also an exit game button here, and if you press it, a uh, chart boost ad should appear as well. Uh, but it didn't, uh, sorry, because it didn't load uh, because of the bad internet connection here. But what happens is if you tap on exit game, another chart boost ad will show before the player leaves the game. Uh, and that's just a way to try and, you know, get the user to, to download a, a game through chart boost, uh, because that's the way that we can make revenue after they finish the game. So that's why the exit button is there. Uh, anyone can can uh, just exit the game by clicking the back button or the home button, but we'd hope that they click on the exit button so that we can show that chart boost ad and hopefully capture that attention before they decide to leave the application. Um, an exit button doesn't work on iOS, by the way. They won't allow you to do that because it mimics the home button. Uh, we tried to add an exit button for iTunes, but they didn't allow us to do it. So anyway, I'm just going to check the time. I started at 4.50, so... Five past five, I'll cut this video. Uh, I updated the icon name as well, and what I need to do is I need to now uh, build it onto my Google Nexus One, which is an older device, but this one is has Google Play installed, and it allows me to check that the links to Google Play are working okay, and it also allows me to see it on a different screen size, of course. So I'm going to build it to this one, and I'm going to pause this video for a moment and be back in just a second guys okay guys I'm back so I've built it now to the Google Nexus one and that's running fine there uh, it's always good to test on like multiple screen sizes of course uh, you know large ones small ones um, I'm hopefully gonna get a galaxy and um, you know eventually have windows as well that's that's one of the goals is this year is to actually get onto uh, onto Windows phones um, I'm just sorry, I'm just going to write something down here before I forget it. See, that's how gorilla this is, this video. That's how real it is. It's live. It's happening now. <laughs> Not planned out at all. 
Um, anyway, but this works well. You can see the ads appear at the bottom. That's all good. Uh, name change at the top as well. I'm just going to go in and check the, the links work okay. Um, I might need to play through to get the rate of the game. You see there, the rate of the game does not exist at the moment. It, dis it disappears until the player plays 10 times. I'm going to click on this more games as well. Uh, you notice that just a, maybe a small tip, guys. This more games button has a bunch of icons. It doesn't say more games. Um, my, my feeling is that if it's got an icon and it's something interesting like that, players are more likely to tap on it rather than say more games text. You know, this looks interesting. They've got a couple of cool icons there from some of the developers that we work with. So I'm just going to tap on that and it should lead to the Play Store and it just leads to our all games page. And there you go. So that's cool. It doesn't, it, those individual icons is just one big button that just leads to this one page. Uh, they're not individual game buttons. So that works fine. Uh, there's also an icon at the bottom here for one of the other games. It's Galaxy Clash 2. And this does lead to a specific game. Uh, let me just accept those. Uh, hopefully, I'm just looking at the reflection here to see if I can see it. You guys are seeing it okay. Yeah, slow. Bring me a good internet. Please. <laughs> All right. It looks fine anyway. There we go. The icons appeared. So that's cool. And that leads directly to that one. So that's good. That's good news. And the last one I want to check is the rate of the game. So I've just got to die uh, 10 times real quick, guys. So please bear with me for just a moment. It's going to happen real fast. All right, we're on four, we're on five. Now I'll try and turn around so you guys can see. Uh, a chart boost that didn't appear there because of the bad internet connection here. That might happen sometimes, guys, with your ad networks. You might be doing something, you might be, your code might be fine. There might be no problem with how you're adding in uh, your ad networks like Chartboost or whatever, uh, Vungal or Inmobi or whatever it may be. It might be just that you've got a bad connection or it might be just that there's no uh, inventory. There's no ad inventory at that time. So there you go. There's no rate button there, 10 lives, 10, uh, 10 deaths, sorry. Um, actually, sorry, it's 15. I was wrong before. It's not. It's not ten. It's fifteen. It's because I played it in two-player mode before, and I, I added up a couple of deaths in two-player mode. And and I think did that just appear then? I think it did. There you go. So rate game is there. Tap on that, and it should lead to the the game on the Google Play App Store. There you go. So bird the floppy dragon. And yeah. Okay. So that's all working fine. And that's pretty much it. That That's all that I had to do today. That was a big thing because uh, I received this notification roughly five or six days ago. So I had to get it finished before that seven day, uh, you know, deadline came up. Uh, you know, the, the thing that I just wanted to reiterate to everyone as well out there, if you're on Google Play on Android, just be very careful of spamming too many keywords uh, in your descriptions. And obviously careful of what I what we've done here as well is we've made a Flappy Bird clone and you know, it's been so big and obvious, the Flappy Bird craze that the Google has gone in and started to like cancel cancel games, you know, that, that, that mimic it. So uh, gameplay isn't a problem. I don't think the gameplay was ever a problem. It's just that because I use the word flappy or flapping uh, and also the word bird is in there as well, that it, uh, that it, it, it gave us a problem. So that's why. Uh, but also, uh, you know, just be very careful because Google doesn't do their checks um, when it's submitted to the App Store like iTunes or Amazon. They they uh, they do random checks and your account, you know, could be flagged. And if it's flagged five times, uh, you're in trouble and your account gets cancelled. And that is just a nightmare. It's such, such a pain. If it wasn't a big App Store, I wouldn't care. But it's the biggest Android App Store in the West, you know, sort of... Uh, US, North America, uh, European countries, and, and so on. Uh, so it's, it's a big, big thing. So be really careful of that, guys, as you're doing it. Uh, if you're not sure, you know, just, just go under with the keywords. It's better to have the game in there uh, and just do a shorter description and get lower downloads rather than, you know, blasting it with keywords and then you have good downloads for a week and then your account gets cancelled or the game gets suspended. Really, really such, such trouble. So anyway, I hope that was uh, interesting or useful. Uh, please let me know if these developer diary videos are, are interesting, guys, or if, if you find it uh, 
useful or not. I, I, I want to know, uh, you know, it's good to get your, your feedback on that. Uh, I'm going to keep on doing some more videos soon as well. Uh, please hit that like button. Please subscribe, anybody, if you've not done that already. That's, that's you know, super supports me and that really, really helps grow the channel as well. Uh, have a great week, everyone. Keep on developing. I'm going to speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.